Hello everyone, this is Daniel with FitnessBlender.com and today we're going to be going through a lower body workout. Now this one's going to be mainly focused on uh, overall strength, but you can use it for toning or mass building depending on how you shift those uh, repetitions you do. So we're going through three different groups of three different exercises. Each group we're going to do twice through, so two sets per exercise. We're going to do each exercise for 10 repetitions. So before we get that done though, we need to do a little bit of a warm up. So let's go ahead and get started with our warm up. All right, everyone, let's go ahead and get started with our warm up so we can get that routine done. We're doing each one of these exercises for roughly 15 seconds. We're gonna run through this pretty quickly. So let's go ahead and get started. Our first one is gonna be just a nice slow butt kicker. So those heels are gonna come up towards your butt as high as you can. Just nice and slow, alternating back and forth. Focus on really squeezing that hamstring. We're trying to wake those muscles up. So this isn't a real quick motion. You're trying to force those muscles to contract. And we're switching to a marching in place, so knees come up really nice and high. Again, not a fast motion. You're trying to work range of motion, so try to get those knees as high as possible. Trying to contract that hip flexor as much as you can. Get a nice tight squeeze at the top. Going into torso circles, so keep those hips locked out. With those legs locked out, you can do a nice big circle, pause at the top, and then back around the other side. A little bit of a twist to those shoulders. and into squats, so nice and slow down, as deep as you can, right back up. Try to keep that back perfectly flat, you're not using any weight, your body's gonna have a tendency to wanna to round those shoulders, try to keep everything nice and solid. Got toe touch kicks next, so leg comes out, touching that right foot, stretching down as far as you can. Again, nice slow controlled motion, getting a tight squeeze, that hip flexor and that quadricep, Reaching down towards that toe. Same thing on the other side. Reach out, stretch that foot back, Ooh. but don't swing it. You want it all under control. Next one is squat circles. So you're gonna get those feet really nice and wide, down to one side, through the middle, up back to the center, and then back down the opposite direction. Nice, slow, controlled motion, and up and out. So one knee up and out to the side, and alternate right back over the other side. Almost done, just two more exercises. Going to boxer shuffles. So those feet just barely hovering off the ground, just kind of staying up on the ball of that foot. Just get that heart rate up a little bit. We're moving into jumping jacks next to really try to get that blood pumping, get that heart rate up. And start them up. Nice rigid arm and leg. Start out relatively slow and speed them up as you go. All right, that is the end of our warm up. Go ahead and get those weights ready. We're going to be starting into that routine here in just a second. All right, let's go ahead and get started with our first group. We've got three different exercises to go through, and we're going to go through one set of each one of them, and then start over, do another set, and then we'll move to our next group. So for this first set, we've got single leg squats, a deadlift, and a side lunge. So single leg squats, we've got to do our 10 repetitions on both legs before we move to the, the next one. So let's go ahead and start with that first. If you can do this with weight, congratulations. You're better than I am at it. Otherwise, just do it with body weight. If you need to, you can also do this close to a chair or the back of a uh, couch or something like that to help yourself get back up if you're not that strong yet. So, one leg up, you're gonna use all your weight on the other leg, nice and slow, squat down, as low as it's comfortable, right back up. Like I said, we're doing 10 of these total. Keep those lungs open, keep that back nice and flat as best you can. If you've got a really nice strong hip flexor and quadricep, you should be able to keep that leg perfectly out in front of you like a pistol squat. If you're not that strong, you can cross that leg across in front like I'm doing, or you can barely let that toe touch in the back for a little extra support, kind of squat down and then use a little bit of pressure with that foot to get yourself back up or heel on the ground, whichever. So that's halfway. Take your time, keep your balance. Got two more to go. And let it relax. So if you're doing a uh, 
toning version of this, do more repetitions. And you might want to use both feet rather than just one because single leg squats are pretty difficult. So go ahead and say, start over on the other leg. So if you want to do more of a mass style routine with this, you're going to cut your repetitions down instead of doing 10 like we're doing right now. You're going to cut it down to somewhere in the neighborhood of six to eight repetitions, but you want to make sure you're lifting more weight. You don't want to be able to finish off those last few repetitions very easily or at all. If you want to do it just for kind of overall strength, just do what we're doing. If you want to do it for more just straight toning, then what you're going to want to do is drop your weight like crazy, use a lot lighter weight, but try to do double the repetition. So anywhere from the neighborhood of 12 all the way up to like 18 or 20. You might need to pause, and that's 10 right there. You might need to pause to get that many repetitions done. All right, so that's the first exercise. Next one is just a traditional straight leg deadlift. So grab your weight for that. I'm only using 40 pounds. Make sure I have the same weight on both sides. Bring those weights in front, nice flat back. 10 repetitions, the slight, slight bend in your knee, otherwise locked out. Straight down and right back up. Make sure that back is perfectly flat. You wanna make sure you're not rounding over to try to get more range of motion because your hamstrings are tight. If your hamstrings are tight, just go to the maximum range you can and then come right back up. So a little over halfway. Just keep those lungs open, don't hold your breath. Two more to go. Last one. And let it relax. All right, got side lunges next. I'm gonna drop my weight a little bit here. These are not a particularly easy exercise. So you want those feet really nice and wide. Dumbbells right in front of those hips. Nice and slow, you're gonna bend one knee at a time, drop down as low as is comfortable. Right back up to the center, short pause. Same thing over the other side. Since we're doing alternating, we're doing a total of 20 repetitions, so 10 on each side. Just keep those lungs open. Nice full range of motion. Halfway right there. There's two more on each side. And let it relax. Go and drop those dumbbells back. We're switching back over to that single leg squat again. So we're starting through that second set of everything. So, try to remember which leg you started with last time. Foot up off the ground. Remember, 10 repetitions, nice and slow under control. Start them up. Try to keep that back nice and flat. If you need to make this harder, just lift more weight. If you need to make it easier, use that other foot for a little bit of extra support. So you can, like I said, heel down on the ground, squat down that way, a little extra support by pushing back up, or you can have that foot back behind you. One more. All right. 
right, let that leg relax for a second. Same thing over on the other side. So nice and straight and tall. Opposite leg out in front and start up. Squat down as low as is comfortable, right back up. Keep those lungs open. Halfway right there, take your time. Try to rush it on the way back up. So you want to keep the same speed on the way down as you do on the way back up. Two more. Last one. And let it relax. All right, go ahead and grab that weight for the deadlift. I'm gonna try a little bit more than I did last time. Felt pretty good. So back nice and flat. Very, very slight bend in that knee. Start it out. Drop down as low as you can go, low as is comfortable. Right back up again. Concentrate on that form, flat back, get down as low as you can without letting those knees bend, without letting that back round, it's halfway. One more. Drop that weight again down to whatever you're going to use for that side lunge. Drop them back to 25 per hand. Get those feet really nice and wide. Dumbbells start up in front of those hips. Slowly bend one knee at a time. Out to the side and back up. Flat back, take your time. It's halfway. Two more on each leg. And let it relax. All right. Take a little extra break here, grab a drink of water. We'll come back and finish up those last two groups. See you in just a second. All right, everybody, our break is over. Let's go ahead and get started with those last two groups of this strength exercise. So our first group is going to be a squat push-pull, then we have a calf raise, and then we're gonna finish it off with an alternating lunge before we move to that last group. So a squat push-pull, you're gonna have one dumbbell in your hands. I'm gonna use about 20 pounds. If you have one that just has a single handle in the middle, just interlace those fingers over top of one another, or you can turn it sideways and hold on to the end of that weight. What you're going to do is you're going to bring that dumbbell up to your chest and nice and slow squat at the same time as pressing that arm or those arms straight out in front of you almost to a full lock position. So nice and slow, you're going to squat down, press out, sit way, way back and then right back up again. It's going to help you focus a little bit more on those glutes. So squat down and right back up. Get down as low as is comfortable. Make sure that back stays nice and flat. 
It's halfway. Two more. Last one. And let that relax. All right, drop those weights. We're moving on to a traditional calf raise next. If you have a step, go ahead and grab that. If you need something to help you keep your balance, you can lean onto the back of a chair or the back of a couch or up against a wall. Otherwise, just do it free. I'm gonna be using 40 pounds in a single hand. So, you want all the weight on the side of the leg that you are actually doing the exercise on. So, we're going to start on that right leg first. So, I have my weight in my right hand. If you need to lean up against the wall or grab the back of a chair, do so. Otherwise, try to balance it. Nice, slow, controlled motion up onto the tip of that toe as high as you can. Take your time, pick a point on the ground or on the wall in front of you and focus on it to help you keep that balance. One more, and let it relax and do the same thing over on the other side. So switch sides and start up. Again, trying to keep your balance if you can, otherwise lean against something. Nice flat back. Two more. And let it relax. All right, we're doing alternating lunges next. I'm gonna drop my weight back down to about 20 pounds per hand. It's just be nice and easy out and back. We're doing both legs simultaneously, so alternating. So we're gonna do a total of 20. So out and back up. Let's change it a little bit so you can see what I'm doing here. That back flat, flat, perfectly straight up and down. And let it relax. Go and drop those weights. Short little break, we're gonna start right back into that second round. So we've got that squat push pull first. So let me go ahead and grab my weight again. And I'm using 20 pounds of a single weight. Hold that weight however is comfortable. Dumbbell comes up that chest. Nice and slow squat and press out. Two more. And let it relax. All right. Moving on to that next one. We're doing calf raises again. One arm at a time. Starting on that right leg. If you have the weight in your right hand. Press it up. Nice and slow down. 
Take your time. Move slowly. Try to let yourself back down as slow as you can. Two more. Same thing on the other leg. And start up. one right there got alternating lunges next I'm back to 20 pounds per hand for me grab whatever feels comfortable to you all right nice straight back step out right back up again same thing with the other leg weight evenly dispersed between your feet make sure you're not putting more weight on that front foot than you are the rear Two more on each leg. And let that relax. All right. That was the end of that group, which means we have one more to go through. Now this one, I'm gonna be using a box for doing my exercises. If you don't have a box, most people don't, that's perfectly fine. You can use either a chair, a, a coffee table, a, a bench, anything that's nice and sturdy that you're not gonna break by stepping up on it with extra weight. So just be very, very careful what you pick. So, pull that box out. What we're gonna be doing is a step up. So you're gonna be nice and slow, holding those weights on your side, just stepping up onto that box or that step, whatever you have. So, I'm gonna be using 25 pounds per hand. So nice and slow, you're gonna step up and right back down. You use the same leg over and over. It's halfway on this leg. Two more. All right, don't stop. I'm gonna do the same thing right onto that next leg. So go ahead and keep it going. Way. Two more. And let it relax. All right, I'm going to set this down for just a second right here on this box because we're going to do, I'm going to be using that same weight over again for this next one. We're doing a Bulgarian split squat. So this is kind of a lunge position, you're gonna have one foot up on that box, that bench, whatever you're just using. 
and the other foot's gonna be on the ground and you're gonna drop down into kind of a squat position. Let's go ahead and grab that weight. Actually, let me scoot this out of the way just a little bit. You're gonna be up on that uh, bench with one foot, like I said. The other foot's gonna be on the ground. Kind of hop forward a little bit to give yourself a little bit of a distance. And you're gonna drop straight down. That's 10 straight through on one leg. Feel free to try to use a little extra oomph from that leg up on that box. Two more. Yeah. All right, same thing on the other side. And start it up. Two more. And let her relax. All right, I'm gonna drop these weights for just a second. Move this box out of the way. Got one more exercise in this group, which is gonna be a sumo squat. So go ahead and grab your weight for that. I'm using 20 pounds in each hand. All right, those feet out, really nice and wide. Turn those toes out, about a 45 degree angle or so, and you're just gonna drop straight down in the center. So down, all right back up. This takes a fair amount of flexibility on that inside thigh and that groin. So if you don't have a whole lot of range of motion, it's okay. Just go as low as you can, keeping a flat back. That's the last one of those. All right. Now we get to start back over at that last group. Starting back over with that step up. So grab that step, get it ready again. I'm gonna drop down to 20 pounds on this one since I'm starting to get a little tired. I don't wanna fall off of this thing. So starting back over with that left leg first. 10 repetitions straight through, start them up. Two more. And that's the last one of those. Same thing on the other side. Start right back into it. Halfway. One more. All right, short pause. Going to that Bulgarian split squat next. Nice deep breath. Grab those weights. Let's get going. So, remember one foot back. 
bring this up a little more. One foot back on that box, and nice and slow, squat down on that one foot, and back up. Keep that back flat. Try not to lean. Last one. All right, same thing on the other side. Just keep it going. If you're using a lot of weight, those legs should be struggling right now. Two more. Let it relax. All right, drop those weights for just a second. Move that bench out of the way. All right, we got our last exercise left. That's sumo squat, so go ahead and grab that weight for that one. Let's go ahead and get this done. Feet really nice and wide. Toes point out about a 45. And drop it straight down, back up. Flat back. Grab a drink of water. We'll be right back to do that cool down and we'll be done. See you in just a second. All right, everybody, we only have one thing left to do with this workout, and that is our cool down. So let's go ahead and get it started. Get those feet moving. We're gonna start off with a regular boxer shuffle. So just keep it moving. We got 30 seconds of this, then we're gonna move into a regular toe touch. So just nice, big, full, deep breaths. Let your body slowly start to relax. Keep that heart rate pumping a little bit. We don't want it to just drop really, really quick. We wanna keep that body pumping that blood around, keep those capillaries open for a little bit longer so we can kind of recover a little bit more, flush out a little bit more uh, waste out of those muscles. We've got about five seconds left, and we're gonna switch over into a toe touch. So those feet together, and just straight down towards those toes. Try to keep those legs as straight as you can. If you want, you can get a nice flat back toe touch stretch and get a little bit different feel for that hamstring. Otherwise, you can round that back and go the rest of the way down. Those legs should be probably feeling pretty swollen right now. Full of blood, a little jelloey from that workout. If not, you need to lift heavier next time. All right, stand back up. We're doing a quad stretch. If you need to lean up against a wall or grab the back of a chair for balance, do so. Otherwise, just standing nice and straight and tall. Bring that heel back to your butt and shove that knee back behind you while keeping that torso straight up and down. Don't lean forward. You should feel it to the front of that, that uh, quadricep, maybe even a little bit into that hip flexor and lower abdominal muscles. Few more seconds. Same thing in the other leg. Switch sides, heel to butt, standing straight and tall, bring that knee back, torso straight up and down. Again, should feel it to the front of that thigh, hip flexor, maybe even to those lower abs. Nice deep breaths, nice slow, even breathing. Feet up nice and wide. You're gonna drop to one side and lean back towards that straight leg. 
you want to get a little extra torso stretch, you can bring that hand over top of your head. Otherwise, just hands on that waist, just trying to drop that hip down to feel that stretch on the inside of that thigh. Just keep those lungs open. Nice, full, deep breaths. Keep that diaphragm working, keep those lungs working. Same thing on the other side. Turn those feet back towards that opposite leg. Again, pull that arm over top of your head if you want a little extra torso stretch. Mainly focusing on dropping that opposite hip or that hip uh, with that straight leg to feel that stretch to the inside of that thigh. And down onto the ground, lay flat on your back, one leg over top of the other, grab behind that, cut, that thigh, excuse me, and pull it back as tight as you can, as tight as is comfortable. You should be feeling that stretch and that glute, that uh, hip, hip joint of that leg you have crossed over top, not the one you're holding on to. Just breathe normally, let those muscles relax, constant tension. I want to feel a little bit of a uh, pull there all the time. Same thing on the other side, cross those feet opposite side, pull in as close as comfortable. Start to let everything relax as much as you can. That breathing should be slowing down. Now roll over into your stomach. I'm going to do a cobra stretch next. So over on your stomach, hands down by the base of your rib cage, nice and slow. Press it up as high as is comfortable. If you can, lock those elbows out, press those shoulders down, look up towards the ceiling. Just let that back stretch, let those abdominal muscles and those hip flexors to the front stretch out. Move into a shell stretch next. So nice and slow, bring those knees up underneath you. Hands down by those knees, press those hands into the ground and roll those shoulders up. Pulling those shoulders down back towards those hips. Round that back. Let that back release. So I had to do a lot of work today from holding those weights, from doing all those lunges and those squats. So make sure you get a good stretch on that back. And let that relax. All right, guys. Hope you like that workout. Hope those legs are nice and jelloey. Like I said, if they're not, make sure you lift a little bit more weight next time. Other than that, this workout is complete. Good job, guys. I'll see you next time.